Hey, Jason Tushman back here with episode 85 of Spot on Patient Acquisition. Today we're going to talk about patient financing and are you as a business owner or as the practice manager leaving money on the table by not having this as a part of your process? If you don't provide patient financing, you will lose patients. The question is, are you willing to do that based on the profitability of those patients? All we're talking about here when we have patient financing is what are you going to give up in order to provide that financing to get that incremental business, okay? This is business you're not gonna get if you don't have the financing. So it may not be as profitable as your normal run rate business, but it is profitable and, it's incre and it is incremental. So you have to make a business decision on that perspective. Next, you need to understand how much are you giving up? With the great majority of patient financing sources out there today, they're asking for a reasonable fee on the total value of that procedure or that you're financing in order for them to provide the service to you. They're taking financial risk in most of the cases. So the ability for you to give up a small percentage or reasonable percentage of your service fees in order to gain thousands of dollars in lifetime value typically makes sense. You have to run the math for yourself and you have to make the business decision, but I'll tell you from what we see in the marketplace, this almost absolutely always makes sense in the practice to give up that uh, financing fee in order to create patient lifetime value. Now, when you do enter into and have patient financing as a part of your process, you've got to make sure this isn't just a flyer that somebody's getting handed to them when they walk out of the practice. You should execute on educating the patients on patient financing up front at your lead vetting and patient scheduling process, letting the consumers know that this, this uh, service is available from you. And then you should confirm at the end during your consultation, are they a candidate for financing and is that something they're interested in? So expose it up front, expose it when they check in and expose it when they check out and you're not gonna leave any money on the table. I hope this helps you and we look forward to seeing you next time.